It says membrane, right? ER membrane. Yes, okay. sorry, membrane. All right, so this is just hanging out. So I'm at step one, okay? So in order for this to work, we all know if we think back, it's a protein. So it's got a C terminal end and an N terminal end, right? That's what they're talking about. So protein, this is a protein. So, what does this do? This SREBP, this is a protein. It has a C terminal end and an N terminal end. The N terminal end will travel to the nucleus to bind to the promoter region of gene encoding for HMG coA reductase, LDLR, other enzymes. Pick I'm, oh, go ahead. But I'm sorry, the N, like it travels. So, the, okay, so this, in order for this to do this, so that's the next step. Okay. So, in order. For the N terminal end to travel, it has to be cut from the C terminal end, right? So SREBP is a protein. This bless you, it has an N terminal end and a C terminal end. The N terminal end of this protein is capable of traveling to the nucleus and attaching to the promoter region of a gene which encodes for HMG CoA reductase, and then another gene which encodes for the LDL receptor, and another gene which encodes for all these different things to increase production. Does that part make sense? Sort of, kind of. <laughs> okay, so let's go back one more step. And this is when I said that a transcription translation is necessary for answering some questions. This is why. So when we need to make a gene, we have to transcript it, right? To make mRNA in nucleus, right? We all remember that. To make a gene turn from a gene into a protein, we have to make mRNA, right? Why do we do that? Like, how does this specific upregulation mystery happen? This is how it happens. A protein from some other part of the cell travels in, it doesn't have to be a protein, but in this case it is, travels into the nucleus. So this protein goes into the nucleus, and there's something called a promoter region which is basically, you know, when you have to get the complex to attach so you can make mRNA, the promoter region is where all of that happens. It's, it's, sig it's like sending up a flag going, hi, I need transcription here, come get it. Okay? So promoter regions are where the mechanism which makes mRNA is told to copy this gene. Does that make sense? Okay, so this half of this protein heads into the nucleus and attaches here and makes a flag. Come copy me. This is the gene for HMG CoA reductase. 
without copying this gene and making mRNA, you cannot make any more HMG-CoA reductase. Without telling the nucleus to copy this, you cannot make any more HMG-CoA reductase. The N-terminal end of this protein is the flag or the signal or the whatever have you that come over here and do this job right now, it's the memo, you know, to copy this gene. This is how when we say upregulate, this is the signal that turns that upregulation on. This little piece. This piece sits in an inactive state right here, SREBP. It's just hanging out on the endoplasmic reticulum surface. It's attached and it's both N and C terminal end. Okay? Does that make sense? So, in low cholesterol conditions, this cleavage activating protein attaches. What do you think a cleavage activating protein does? Cleaves. It cleaves. What happens when it cleaves? What, what's liberated? An N terminal end. Where does the N terminal end go? The nucleus. What happens? It attaches the promoter region. Right. It flags it. Yes. Copy. Exactly. And then we make the gene that we want to increase production of cholesterol. Okay? So, cleavage protein, so I, I want to get the wording exactly like I've got it here. Activating. Activating or activating? Activating. Well, what do I have up there? It's kind of the same. So, cleavage activating means it's activating this breaking. So, SREBP, cleavage activating protein attaches. Now, this other little part here is um, that SCAP, SREBP, move to the Golgi via COP2 coated vesicles. That's just the mechanism whereby you get this thing from the endoplasmic reticulum to out. Golgi packages for exit, right? In this case, exit into the cytosol so it can go to the nucleus. So the big important part here is here's this inactive C-terminal plus N-terminal protein. In low cholesterol conditions, this cleavage activating protein, SCAP, comes and attaches to this SREBP. So far, so good. Okay. Mm -hmm. This thing breaks into two pieces. The end terminal end heads up to the nucleus, sends up a flag, transcription occurs, translation then occurs, there's more protein. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. In other words, why isn't this happening all 